Uh, welcome. Again, we're going to talk about anger management. This is part two, looking at the different uh, reactions that we have and why we do and what kind of treatment can be done about it, okay? Some of the reactions when we're angry, we antagonize others or someone antagonizes us. So I don't know if you're the perpetrator, or the, the, the one who started it, or are you the one who's victimized by it? But in any case, everybody needs to know these understandings about why the emotionality gets so rigged up. Okay, triggers are things in your particular makeup that are important to you. And perhaps other people overstep their boundary. Perhaps they insulted you. Perhaps they hit that one thing that really bothers you. Like for instance, taking an object that you really wanted a certain way. And that really uh, makes you angry. I remember once when I was young, my, my brother and I were about a year and a half apart. So we were pretty close, but he took my bicycle out and he brought it back with a flat tire. Well, needless to say, it was dinner time. I must have been 11 or 12. And I was so angry. I really hit him on the back very hard. I pounded him on the back. How dare you take my bike? So I'm not oblivious to this. We're all human. We're all war walking through this human experience. So things go wrong. And boy, we ended up disrupting the whole dinner that night. And uh, I really hit him. <laughs> so so I, I'm not innocent either. But I, I am aware and I have controlled it. And certainly don't do that as a, as a means of every day or regularly. But the other thing people do, the reactions with, the, with anger, is they use it for shock treatment. Like they want to act out. They want everybody to look at them. It's like, here, look at me. I can be brazen and I can, I don't care about you. I'm going to take care of myself. So that's kind of a brazen attitude. And of course, there are some people that are naturally aggressive by disposition, and, and we need to look at that as well. What makes them so aggressive? Aggressiveness is very close to being angry. So the, the anger is oh, it never leaves them. It just kind of hoovers in their subdermal existence. And so it's very raw to the skin, as they say. So the emotion comes out really quick. Some people are cool and collected. And you can insult them to the day as long and they're just going to walk away and make reason of it. So that probably frustrates the person who's looking for a fight. Okay, so you see everybody has a different way of handling it. So we have these different reactions. I want you to really sit down and take a journal and write down when you got angry. What happened just before you got angry? What did you do while you were angry? What way did you release your anger? Okay, now let's look at some of these techniques that you can use to get control of it. Impulse control is one that I mentioned. How do we do that? Well, for instance, when you're really angry in the house, before you participate in fighting or touching another family member, just run out of that house and get away from there as quick as possible before the incident erupts and you end up angry. Because if it gets out of hand and somebody gets hurt you're going to have to call the police to stop it. And the police then make the decision of who's going to get arrested. So by all means, get control of yourself before the police have to make control of yourself. Okay. All right. So the next thing you want to do, that's impulse control. Like I said, if you feel like it's rising up and you run, do not walk, run out of the house, then count from one to 10 when you're out in the yard, when you're away from the person. What we want to do here is raise your self-awareness and you do this in anger management classes. You will talk about these different techniques and why, why these things are happening. And if you are arrested, you will be mandated to an anger management class. And so if you think you had troubles before, now you have more commitments and you have other problems. Okay. So that's a, another thing. And of course, the third thing that you can really do when you're trying to get control of your anger is meditate. Meditate is hard. If you're ADHD, and as I said, I am too, sometimes it's really hard to just sit still. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, you're all itchy, wee 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 wee, and you'd rather be running around or something. But meditation is worth learning because you start out slow. You do maybe five minutes. We don't expect you to sit there a long time, but guess what's going to happen? You're going to get stronger at it and you're going to want to do it more. And you will be surprised at how much you can reduce your level of anger and frustration when you learn to meditate. 
Now, meditate is a whole nother, we can do a whole class on that. Meditation is different kinds of music, whatever works for you. A lot of techno music. Uh, Enya is one musical group that make an alternative sounding music. So it kind of takes you away like angels. There's a, quite a few different uh, groups that do that. But play some soft music and get a room where you can be all by yourself and nobody else is there and meditate. And you'd be surprised how good it feels when you can do that. Other people are very physical. And instead of using mental meditation, uh, they need to manage it by some physical activity. Maybe they need to run. Maybe they need to run off their excess anxiety. Maybe they need to jump and swim, whatever your preference is. Maybe you're going to work out with weights. But whatever it is, it's unique to you, and it helps you vent your anger instead of venting it on a person whom you typically love, because that's usually what we do. Okay, so now we've got impulse control management. We're going to be aware of that. We're going to have self-awareness. We're going to realize why we do it, when we do it. And meditation, we're going to try very hard to get ourselves to calm down without having to have intervention from police that are going to be, it's going to get very expensive and very humiliating, possibly cost you a job, cost you income and legal fees. We don't need any of that. So meditation is another one. Now, frustration management is, is even helpful if you just write in a journal every day. Just write down what is it you're angry about. You don't have to show it to anybody. You can keep it under lock and key. You can keep it hidden. But why are you angry? Journaling is very good for um, expressing our anger without having to insult the other person, but it gets us to vent and say what it is that's bothering us. So writing it out, an anger diary, and um, they have been very effective, very effective. And nine out of 10 times, if you write your anger out and you sit there and write it, put it down, go to sleep, the next morning you wake up and you look at those words and you say, oh my God, did I say those words? So you see, your whole attitude will change as soon as you're removed from the initial setting where the anger was exploding. Good night's sleep helps as well. Okay, so you're all familiar with the breathing techniques, counting from one to 10. Step back, because every time you count, you do one deep breath, two deep breath, and three. And you see, you keep going to 10, but with that deep breath automatically washes away some of that anger. Now, everyone's different again, but breathing techniques really work when you, you, you really can't get away to something else. I personally love to go jump in a pool of water and swim because that gets my excess stress out. And then finally, in the, in the last analysis, it helps for you to interact and talk about the anger with your loved ones because that is something that needs to be discussed together so that you can overcome it and they can stop needling you and picking your, tr your triggers because you have triggers. We all have triggers, okay? We all have an ultimate part of what we're gonna take or tolerate from others, whether it's a sibling is teasing you, whether it's a parent, a partner, a loving partner, and especially in loving relationships, where we're always together, remember, we are all responsible for our own happiness. It is a choice to be happy. It is a choice to get allow yourself to get angry. Yes, it's a choice because you choose to let it go on unmanaged. And that's where anger management comes in. So I hope those different techniques are helpful to you. And of course, the last one is just relaxation techniques. And that could be different for everybody. Personally, I relax with my little kitties. As you can see, I have. A uh, beautiful little cat. He's a little, little lover. His name is Romeo. And he wants to say hello. You see? Here he is. There he is. There he is. He loves you. Okay. All right. So that's enough for Romeo. That He helps me relax because having a pet is very important because it's impossible to be petting your pet, holding the pet, whether it's a dog, a cat, or whatever it is. It's impossible to hold that cat and be angry at the same time. In fact, a dog therapy has been used in jails and prisons. So pets and caring for someone else is, is very important. So you're going to watch your reactions. Watch out if other people are always antagonizing you. Stay away from them if you can. Avoid them. And be aware of your triggers because if you know what your triggers are, you'll know enough to avoid 
being there. Okay. And write out and journaling. It's really, really helpful. All right. So those are some techniques for you to get started. I'm going to want some comments below. Please leave me comments about what worked for you. Uh, or if you need some more assistance, I'll be happy to uh, do that with you. By all means, leave comments below. I have references. If you need local community references, you dial 211 in your community. And usually you will find a clerk's court will give you community agencies, depending on what your problem is. So now we're going to look a little deeper in our next section, our next video, we will go deeper into each technique and how that works, okay? So we'll do a series of meditation techniques as well. And I want you to keep control of yourself. Remember, life is way too short to be wasting it. Time is going way too fast for people to spend your time being angry, miserable, isolate it from your loved ones, and Lord knows not definitely arrest it because of domestic violence, okay? So anger management, a million techniques, and there's a lot of help out there. So right now, there's not a good reason to be angry. There really is not. All right. So check below. We leave you references. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I have more good videos coming again on different aspects of anger management as well. All right. All right. May you always walk in light.